It Films Sensei here. Today in this video, we're doing Sith Lightning. All right, so I have basic Sith Lightning raw footage here where I'm holding a lightsaber and then I stick my hand out like I'm firing those lightning bolts at the bad, evil Jedi opponent here, okay? So then it's just a matter of kind of figuring out, you know, how far away your guy is from the camera, what direction the lightning is going, uh, you know, what sort of a look you want for that, okay? But they're always going to come out of the fingertips first. So what I did was I first started by tracking the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky finger because I'm going to have four different um, points that four different lightning bolts are going to come out of. So I track those four. And if you don't know how to do tracking, there's lots of videos uh, online that will show you how to do that in HipFilm. And I'll leave a link in the description below for something like that, okay? Then the second thing I did was I said, well, I need a target where the Sith Lightning is attacking. So I created a target point off screen here where the Sith Lightning will be going towards, okay? So then I started creating the Sith Lightning itself. I created a plane, okay? And then I called that Sith Lightning Index, all right? And here it is. What I did was I started by dropping the lightning and electricity effect, and I renamed it Index, okay? Under that, I you can change the seed if you want, but you definitely want to make some adjustments. You want one trunk, you want wave scale to be about 0.2, twitch scale to be about 0.15. Again, that one may vary, uh, but you don't want it to be too wildly waving and twitching, okay? Uh, I as attached the start point to my index finger point, and then I attached the end point to the uh, target point, okay? Now, I'm fairly far away from the camera, so I made the width of the start point only 0.5, but you can make that bigger or smaller. Uh, but since the lightning is coming towards the camera here, I went ahead and made the end point growth, uh, or width, I mean, to 5, okay? And you'll notice that I did keyframe the growth over time. So I started back here at zero, and then it extended out, and that lightning fired forward, okay? So that was basically what I did with those. Then I added three different effects on top of that. One was a flicker effect, because if I didn't add the flicker effect, the lightning would just be constant there the whole time. And I really wanted it to kind of flash on and off. So I added a flicker effect, so that way it kind of flashes on and off. And I messed with the seed, and I changed the frequency and amplitude until I felt I had a good flicker effect. Then uh, I added a glow effect to it. Okay, and that glow effect adds some more, you know, power to it, right? Uh, and I messed around with the uh, settings on this intensity 1.5, threshold at 40%, radius at 70 pixels for this particular shot. And again, your shot may change, but I think a glow effect is definitely a good idea to have in terms of uh, having Sith lightning going on here, okay? Then last but not least, I added a motion blur effect. Now, I didn't actually change any of the settings of the motion blur, but you can do that as well. So that way, it is kind of blurring as it's moving, uh, and it makes it look more ferocious, more powerful, okay? Then I just duplicated that plane, and I added one for the middle finger. I added one for the a ring finger, and I added one for the pinky finger. In each one of those, I did change the seed values for both the lightning effect as well as the flicker effect so that they weren't all flashing and looking exactly the same. And I messed around with those until I felt I had something that looked pretty good. And then when it was all done, I had this. So pretty much, in a nutshell, that's how you would make Sith Lightning in HitFilm Express. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, 
Consider liking the Hit Film Sensei Facebook page, following the Hit Film Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the Hit Film Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.